then in the meantime, we were getting the Karadzic, uh, because <laughs> as a reformer of the Serbian language, and also the author of the first Serbian dictionary and a chronicler of our Serbian folklore, it was only fitting that this should be our next one. So here's a tale that some of you may not know. It was completed in early March and shipped here. And by some quirk, it went from Belgrade to San Francisco. Now, even I know enough about geography that it doesn't go across the Atlantic and end up in San Francisco. But I think somebody at the postal office in Belgrade, in making it 44131, the first digit looked like a nine. So 94 is San Francisco. Then, in the inimitable style of the U.S. government, they find the Teslas in customs in San Francisco. And they were suspicious that Vuk Karadzic was related to Radovan Karadzic, the bad guy, from the 90s. So they went and tore it all apart and everything, and then nobody could find it. Well, here it was in the rewrap department at the Postal Service in San Francisco. When it finally got to my office, it came in a cardboard box, not in a wooden crate like others. It was wrapped with one wrap of uh, bubble wrap, and by the time the U.S. government got through with it, they wrapped it in U.S. government inspection tape. It got to my office, it looked like a mummy. So when I cut it open, I'm just praying that it wasn't damaged at all, and thank God it wasn't. It came out very well. It's so heavy, it takes two people really to, to lift it. The other thing I just want to point out to you, one reason why the garden looks so good is that almost every weekend, my son Lex is here working on the garden. And he does that from the love of his heart. And to get the garden an extra special uh, appearance today, we were very fortunate. Uh, Father Paul Finley, who heads up uh, St. Herman's House of Hospitality, which is a focus agency, and he takes care of all these homeless uh, at St. Herman's. And we try to support him over the years. And these fellows like to be a little independent and make some money. So I talked to Father Finley and I said, look, why don't you get a crew down here a couple times, three times, whatever it takes to weed the beds, mulch them, and do whatever is necessary to make it look as nice as it can look. So again, Paul, thank you for your crew coming down. It gives these homeless guys a chance to make some money.